right here is the former UFC heavyweight champion and in all likelihood future UFC Hall of Famer Cain Velasquez. You guys have been sharpening each other's skills for years and it's good to see Cain back and healthy here tonight. Exactly where he belongs. Cain Velasquez is a fighter and he deserves to be fighting inside of the octagon. One of the tighter strikers the UFC has ever seen in the heavyweight division. The cardio, the pace, the pressure that you face when you fight a Cain Velasquez is overwhelming. Guys melt, and it's because after one round you realize we're just getting started. Right. And Kane's only revving up the engine. It's truly, truly difficult to stare on the barrel of a fight with Kane Velasquez. And he hasn't necessarily adopted my cardio Kane moniker, but there are <laughs> few guys that can match the cardiovascular strength of the great Kane Velasquez. Big spot for him here tonight. Kane Velasquez steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. A pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon? It finally happens to me. I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expressions. He's so stoic. You know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon. His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. to fight Kane Velasquez. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King Velasquez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Azar. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready? Good. All right, here we go, round one, and how will Fedor Emelianenko choose to proceed? I know DC, you think he's going to wrestle, he's going to grapple. Figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he can get that part of his game going. Fedor's got power, man. He talked about one knockout this week, and sometimes when fighters talk about pursuing style points, they end up being the ones twitching on the canvas. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that Fedor Emelianenko's hands will be heard from tonight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Uh, High-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Velasquez. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. Oh, poor attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Velasquez getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. That was nice. Setting up another submission. Oh, it could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight.
Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Just out of range with that right hand. There's his jab. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Under a minute now to go. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. So how about that position over submission as he bails on the side? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his stop, opponent. Stop, stop. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. He's beating on the ground right now on points. He's not hurting you too bad. All right, so the fight goes the distance. He had all but guaranteed a submission win coming in. Certainly a lot of effort to try to close the show, but Nonetheless, a pretty complete effort out of him tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of attacking submissions. Every team. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, ahead. round two. Velasquez gets caught by that straight punch. You've got to do better than that defensively. Good defensive vision to block that punch. And they clinch. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice takedown defense. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh. Oh, effective use of the jab by Milianenko. Just misses with the jab there. getting tattooed by that stiff jab. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Velasquez gets the double leg takedown. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover to share him. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Careful here. A series of punches from the top here by Kane Velasquez. He's got to start throwing now, using a lot of good movement. Really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. When his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd. No surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. Just misses with that big right hand. Velasquez gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Ten minutes in the books. 
All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be... All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh. Able to block the punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Pedro Emilienko gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off to the side of the octagon, get back to the center where he can dictate the pace and the pressure. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters throwing heat now. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by the last pass. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice takedown. Velazquez is looking to pass out of the half guard here. Maybe for Kimura now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. He got to keep position over submission. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Velasquez is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to offer himself to get subbed. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. It looks like he's trying to get an arm triangle, but he's got to get to the opposite side, get his chest to the mat, and find that finish. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs this... All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Velasquez. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or the octagon for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Back to his feet. All right, well, 
he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water. You gotta, be able to get, you gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just gotta start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feet the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velasquez. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Oh, good defense, yes. 20 minutes down, five to go. Alright, so what a round it was for multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down, and he proved prophetic. That's exactly what happened in the previous round. The guy has lightning in his hands. Every time he is landing, he is putting his opponent on his butt over and over, knocking him down. He has not found the finish, but he needs to stay patient, find the perfect... You ready? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, nice single, yes. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. All right, so Million has got his hand looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. He's just being more aggressive. And because he's back on the guillotine now. Holy smokes. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot. Gets the win by way of submission. That after party's going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch. And it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Ace! Oh! 
All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.